Hi everyone, it's Intang Mayumi. Today's card is interactive. I hope you like it. I'm starting with this stamp set called Mary's Christmas from Art Impression. I will be using my Stamp Perfect for stamping and I have 140 pounds Stratmore watercolor paper. I will arrange my image on the paper where I want it and I'm going to stamp my image using Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And I will emboss it with clear embossing powder and melt the powder with my heat tool. I stamped the image a couple of times too to get good impression and then I'm gonna pour the embossing powder on the paper. I did preheat my heat gun a few seconds before I melt the powder to eliminate warping. I used my Daniel Smith watercolor paints to color the image. I also used black and white paint from my pencil art. I'm going to use this white paint from my Pentel Arts watercolor set for the snow. I'm going to put a little paint on a dish um, that I'm using for watercolors and I'm going to bring that and the watercolor panel in inside the bathtub to do some splattering. I do it in the bathtub because the splattering of paint is a little bit messy and I don't want the paint all over my workspace. I thought I needed more snow on that side of the panel so I used my Jelly Roll white gel pen to add white dots. I have my blade cutter to remove the inside of the flame inside the light post and that is where I'm going to put my light. I have black panel cut to the same size as the, the main panel that will go behind and I will use it for my circuit. I use my Jelly Roll white pen again to mark where I want my LED light and I'm just tracing the inside of the candle flame. I use white paint because I'm using black paper for my circuit and I want to see it better. I also mark where I want my battery to go and I will put it behind the snowman tummy. I got this battery from my local grocery store. I like this one because it is flat and this one is 2016 but you can use any 3 volt, three volt battery you have. I will cut 2 by 1 inches from white cardstock and fold it in half and that is where my battery will go. 
I will adhere the folded cardstock on my black panel using glossy accents. I will add positive and negative signs in the inside of the folded cardstock. I'm going to create lines so I know where my copper foil tape are going to be and I'm just using pencil here to draw the lines. I started the lines from the inside of the folded cardstock going out to where my LED light will go later. You need to have two lines for your positive and negative. I got this copper foil tape from Amazon. I will leave a link for this one in my description box below. I roughly measure how much I need. It's better to have more than to have less of the copper tape. I will cut it in half because I only need 1 8 inches strips and this copper foil tape is 1 4 inch wide. Now that I already cut it in half, I will adhere the tape on the lines I created. And I took my time here and used my bone folder to help me adhere the tape because I find it a little bit difficult when you get to the corners and I don't want the tape to rip so I was so gentle with it. I just used one light for my card today. This pack of Chibitronics have red, blue, and yellow circuit stickers. I used the yellow one. I will also leave a link on this one in my description down below. I wrote positive and negative sign on the sides of the circuit lines. The LED circuit has negative and positive written on them so it is easier to know where you use where you need to place them on the circuit lines. I also varnish my circuit lines using my bone folder to make sure the lines are adhered well on the paper. And I will adhere a little piece of vellum behind the cutout using glossy accents. I will add a snowflake on the tummy of the snowman. It's where the recipient will press to light the lamp post. The snowflake is from the same stamp set. I will stamp it using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink and emboss it with clear embossing powder. And then I will melt the powder with my heat tool. And I will color the snowflake using Haze Blue Zig Marker. I also color the inside of the lamp post using Yellow Zig Marker. I went overboard with foam tape here, but I'd rather use a lot of the foam tape rather than my card pulling apart later. After I adhere the circuit panel and watercolor panel together, I will add double-sided tape on the back and I will adhere it on my card base. And my card base is A2 size top folding card base, measures 4.5 by 5.5 inches. And I'm using 140 pound coordinations black cardstock. For the sentiment, I use Happy Holidays from Lundfond Thanks a Lattice Thumbset. 
I will stamp it using Versamark ink on a scraps of dark blue shimmery cardstock and emboss it with wow opaque bright white embossing powder and I will melt the powder with my heat tool. I will cut my sentiment into strip and cut an angle on one side. I added foam tape on the back of the sentiment and I will adhere it on the upper part of the card. For the inside of the card, I used the holly berries from the Mary's Christmas stamp set and sentiment from your next stamp, winter home stamp set. I will stamp them using Jenny K Designs Amalgam Ink and I will stamp a couple of times to get good impression. I colored the image using two shades of green and two shades of red Copic markers. And I will adhere this panel in the inside of the card using double-sided tape. I use my Jello Roll Stardust pen to add shimmer on the red part of the candy cane and holly berries. I also use crystal stickles to add glitter on the snowman, snow on the ground, and snow on the lamp post. I use Jelly Roll Stardust pen on the bow and snowflake as well. I will write press the snowflake in the inside of the card using my pen so the recipient will know. And my card is finished. This card is a lot of fun to make. When I started the process of this card, I said I'm just going to color it and it will be one layer card, but I went to a different direction. Sometimes when I start a card or project, I don't really have a plan. I just go with the flow. As always, thank you so much for always watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. I hope you like today's Christmas card, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. I have two more interactive cards like this on the side of the screen that you might like to watch.